Hello, I'm Andy from Toman, and I'm in the Synth and Studio Department with Norbert from the Synth and Studio Department. Hello, Norbert. Hey, Andy. Hey, uh, we're talking about patch bays today. Yep. Basic question, and hopefully basic answers. What is a patch bay, and what does it do? Well, basically, a patch bay um, can do multiple things. It's a uh, um, multi solution studio tool mm -hmm. if you want to distribute signals. Right. Um, the first misunderstanding uh, many people have with the patch bay is that you need to patch anything to, to have something happen. Okay. And the great thing is if a patch bay is configured the right way, you don't need to patch anything and you have your basic signal flow. So when you say patch, what do you mean by patch? By patching I mean inserting a so-called patch cable like uh -huh. that nice. into the patch bay. Um, I think we have to take a closer look maybe on the, the bottom patch bay. We have three patch bays here. And each of those three patch bays has two rows. First basic rule is our signal flow is like a waterfall always from the top to the bottom. So the signal comes out in the first row and it goes into the second row. Sure. Um, I have here, for example, the main inserts uh, from, our, uh, from our audio system here. So that means the signal comes from our audio interface, goes to the main inserts, sent basically, and then it goes back into here. And as long as I don't patch anything, I have an audio signal. So, now everything's fine. Now wh what I can do is I can um, insert uh, um, an, uh, an hardware effect here, like a okay. compressor, equalizer, something like that. Um, since my signal is coming from the top, I can take it from there and send it, uh, for example, to our where is it? To our API compressor, which is here. And where's the API? API. That one. 2500 compressor. Now I can go with this signal to the input of the API. We've learned outputs are on the top, inputs mm -hmm. are on the bottom. So I need to go in the bottom here. It's a stereo signal, so I do so it. So left and right? Twice. Left side, right side. And now I go from the output of my API compressor back to the insert return, basically. So always left to left and right to right. Yep. So you don't exchange left and right. And now. <laughs> Now this mode we were just demonstrating is the so-called half-normalized mode. And that means if I don't insert anything, the signal will just flow from the top row to the bottom row. Mm -hmm. I've uh, plugged it into the bottom row. Mm -hmm. We don't have any audio. The connection has been disconnected, basically. Now if I remove those plugs, we will hear the audio again. Mm -hmm. And now what I can do is I can insert those plugs in the top row and the music will still play if I wanted to. And the great thing is now I have the audio signal in my bottom row here and I have it on those two cables. So I have basically split my audio signal. Okay, and does that affect the quality of the audio at all? No, it doesn't. I mean it has uh, some effects on impedance but that's uh, in a range you can split it multiple times with a patch bay without a real problem. Cool. So I asked you earlier before we started filming, like, when do I need a patch bay? What was the answer you gave me? Yeah, the, the basic answer is if you don't know what a patch bay is, you probably don't need one. Okay. It is an advanced studio tool. Many people think a patch bay is a handy way to get all your connections from the back of the rack to the front. And that's not really what a patch bay does. You could use it for that. Guilty. Good, uh. <laughs> yeah. But that's not the basic idea. The basic idea okay. is to have really complex possibilities with signal distribution. We're talking about inserts and sort of taking some, so splitting, uh, cutting the signal, putting something in between it, and then mm -hmm. jo rejoining it so you can plug in one of these many wonderful glowy boxes. Yeah, correct. One important thing to mention mm -hmm. what you cannot really do uh, with a patch bay is mix signals together. So I can not go the other way around. I could do that, but I will have serious problems that okay. way. Uh, you can 
use a passive system to split a signal, but uh, to mix a signal, you always need an active system like a mixer. Fantastic. So that's uh, unfortunately something you cannot do with a passive patch bay, but about everything else. <laughs> okay, well, I've learned something today. Thank you, Norbert. And hopefully if you're watching this at home or wherever you are, and you've got some questions about patch bays, that's answered the basics. I'd love to invite you back again sometime, Norbert, and we go a bit deeper into that. Of course. Because I want to see all these glowy boxes light up and, and play some more music. Um, leave us some comments down below what you want to see on In The Shop, and we'll come back with Norbert some other time. Thank you for watching. I'm Andy. This is Norbert. Bye, Bye guys. guys.